But yeah, there's definitely way more condos down here. But yeah, so this is it here. The main intersection to 24. Sunny Cup. We got some gardeners here. <laughs> oh man, this is a nice looking Starbucks right here. Looks kind of looks like the library in uh, Hastings in Vancouver. Welcome back to another video. If you are new to our channel, welcome to our channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified when we come out new videos. So today we're gonna to wander around the Prom Pong area, which is where the M District is. There's three different malls here. There's M Quartier, there's uh, M Sphere, which is a new one, and Emporium, which has like brands like Louis Vuitton, high-end fashion, things like that. Uh, M Quartier is actually a pretty cool mall. It's kind of a maze. You go into one area and it's kind of like all the shops are like up these tiers of floors. But then you go over and there's a whole bunch of other shopping on that area and um, the food court at the top is really cool you just keep walking around and it just goes up the building and there's some cool settings up there for food as well um, we just kind of wandered around there we are going to do some mall videos so you guys make sure you subscribe so you can see what those videos are like but we're actually going to walk down soy 39 which was what the original prom pong was before they built all this stuff around it is an area where a lot of foreigners expats choose to live you can see it is a busy area. Um, it's cool because it does have the shopping mall. So if you are looking for a place to live that's really close to shopping, this would be the first kind of area when you're coming um, up from like Ekamai. Uh, Ekamai has a little uh, mall there called Gateway, but it's nothing like the M District. Um, so yeah, again, another area where a lot of foreigners choose to live. And again, has the BTS station. I just got on at Ekamai, two stops up, I'm at Prom Pong, I'm at the first really big shopping center. So if you are in uh, Ekamai or Thonglor, it's so easy to get to this area. You got uh, some classic food stalls here, mangoes, all sorts of fresh fruit, these little alleyways. It's really busy right now because in the morning everybody is either heading to work or they're already at work. Um, but yeah, it's just before 10 o'clock right now. Um, yeah, again, an area where there's a lot of new development happening while well, right on the corner here. You can see Ma Vista from Pong, new uh, condo unit or condo building yeah, that's going in. But yeah, we're gonna walk down here, see what it's like. I've never been down here. You guys are coming for the first time as well. So let's see. Again, right away, I'll see there's a lot of uh, apartment or condo buildings up here. We actually looked at a, an apartment way down here. Uh, but one thing you'll find too, it's a lot of the buildings that are further from the BTS, they'll have a free shuttle service that'll take you to the BTS and pick you up. We've actually looked at a couple different places and they both had the shuttle service. One was in a tuk-tuk. Uh, the other one was like a kind of like a truck like this a little bit bigger but it's nice that they have that option so yeah you got really nice uh places here modern condos you got 7-eleven of course there's got to be like six million of them in the city and then you got these little alleys with some uh some grilled food study cup yeah, it's a morning I find they're out a lot. Um, they're set up selling their food for everybody that's going to work. So if everybody will just on their way to the BTS or on their way to work, if they work in the area, they'll just pick up their lunch. And then, uh, yeah, at least they have it for when it's lunchtime. They pick it up early and they're ready to go. Because I've noticed a lot of these vendors that are set up just randomly in the street, once they're sold out, they're gone. So if you want to get something like that, you got to go early before the crowds hit them. But yeah, you can see here, there's a lot of condos.
That one looks like it has a pool that sticks out there. Yeah, and if any of you are wondering, can you purchase a condo here? Yes, you can. Um, obviously, you own the condo, you don't own the land or anything like that. Um, they have a rule, I think it's a 60-40 rule, where 60% of the building has to be purchased by Thai people. And the remaining 40% can be foreigners, which I agree with. It should never just be like a takeover of foreigners. It should always be that availability to the local people. <laughs> like guys, they're everywhere. So if you don't want to get a grab, you just walk anywhere and you're going to see those guys and just jump on their bike. But yeah, there's definitely way more condos down here than um, down Thonglor and then also in Akamai. Or bigger condos anyway. You'll see. It does definitely seem like this area does have still some Japanese influence. Seems like this whole area has a lot of Japanese influence. Again, sushi places, ramen places. There's all sorts of different Japanese restaurants. But yeah, uh, definitely more, um, more of a neighborhood feel down Prom Pong, down 39 here, compared to Tonglor where there's like a main road and it was more businesses it seemed like. This has more of that little bit of a condensed feel And being that it's more residential, that's probably why. So we're, yeah, we're gonna walk down here a little way, show you guys what it's like, see what it's like for myself. And then we're gonna head back over and go south on the other side of Sukhumvit, like I said, just to see what's down there. I think there's more like, like restaurants, bars, things like that, from what I've looked on uh, Google Maps. And that's how I'm like kind of basing these videos on is uh, just Google Maps and kind of like doing research as to where most people want to live in Bangkok. I mean, it's a huge city, so there's lots of places. Left. You can actually go on the outskirts of Bangkok and uh, you can get like houses, um, duplexes, bigger places for less money. But again, you're gonna have to uh, travel further to get back into the city or buy a car. You can get a car here as a foreigner or a motorbike. You'll find too a lot of the same developers for different buildings in the city. They'll have a very similar feel or look. There's one developer that has like purple buildings. <laughs> uh, that was another one that's the same as the Maru on uh, Ekamai. The same uh, colorway for their branding and stuff like that. So yeah, a lot of the same developers. Yeah, this building looks looks older, but looks pretty cool. I think personally, just from the feel of me walking around, I would choose Prom Pong over Tonglor, and Tonglor is only one stop over on BTS, so it's an easy walk. And like the commons is in between these two areas, plus all the little uh, trendy spots. So yeah, you're not far from things in Tonglor, but it's got a better feel. Like I said, more of a residential or a neighborhood feel for being in the city. And again, it's only two lanes of traffic, not six like it is on Tonglor or four on Ekamai. And it is another beautiful sunny day in Bangkok. It is warm. Luckily, we lived in Costa Rica for so long that we're used to the heat. Saudi cop. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, yeah, I like this I like this area. It's really cool. Here's a here's a nice building. You got like plants growing out of it.
bit of a traffic jam. You'll definitely find like rush hour is rush hour here. <laughs> If you get a grab, it's gonna take like at least an hour to go anywhere. We took a tuk-tuk the other day. I'll put a little clip in here just to show you. But man, those things rip. <laughs> They're so lightweight. And just the power they have. The guy was hauling. But yeah, let, let me know if you guys, I'm gonna switch the camera around. Let me know if you guys notice a, a difference between the Tonglor area and this area. So a few little places here, a little, uh, this is bottles and beads, maybe a little bar. Starbucks on the corner over here. Popular street I can't cross. Again, you just gotta go for the walk across the street. It's gonna be crazy when we go to Vietnam and there's like so many scooters and they just don't stop. You gotta walk in between. Yeah, Starbucks here. Some restaurants. gonna go down to the corner here on this part of Phnom Penh and then I'm gonna walk back and start the video at Sukhumvit on the south side on 24 and we'll go for a little stroll down there. Yeah it's a uh, very like enclosed feeling it's really cool especially with the plants like this. That place is called the Thai Eatery and Bar. Looks like a cool little spot. But yeah, I'll just go to the corner to show you what it's like down here. Because yeah, this, this does go around the corner and then it goes down and then it cuts off and goes up another soy. And I think it becomes a dead end from what I saw on Google Maps. You see it kind of zigzag. But yeah, it's nice because it has uh, got a lot of greenery down here so has a really nice vibe so yeah I'm gonna cut the video here and then when you see me I'm gonna be at Sukhumvit we're gonna go down 24. Alright so I'm back at the BTS it's nice because you can just use it to cross over the street and be safe <laughs> so yeah we're gonna go down I, don't, I think they're all called soys when they run this way but a lot of the ones on the south say uh, was it Sukhum, Sukhumvit 24 Alley? So, anybody from Thailand watching this, comment below. Is it still a soy? It seems like it. I think the other ones that run the other way are called something else. But yeah, so this is it here. The main intersection to 24. And the mall is there and over here. So yeah, let's go down here. Looks busy. Good job. 
So these motorbike guys, that's like a whole subculture in Bangkok. The guys uh, by where we live, they actually have like a lazy boy set out there with umbrellas, they got a cooler. <laughs> it's like their own office and they just set it up on the side of the road, on the sidewalk. So yeah, 7-Eleven. There's definitely more, um, more businesses at the beginning of this. Very narrow sidewalk. But you can see down here there's more uh, condos and apartments. This is Emporium Mall, part of it. We went in there and uh, definitely um, looks a little run down. Oh, there's an Ibis Hotel here. So yeah, there's hotels around this area too. If you're just coming for a short stay. Skyview Hotel Bangkok, that one looks really nice, modern, new. So yeah, there's hotels here. Hotels throughout the whole city. I was down uh, kind of close to, I don't even know, it's kind of by Lumpini, I guess. And there's like little hotels just tucked down alleyways and stuff. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of choice. So yeah, um, again, more, more residential. Again, more hotels, there's a Hilton here on this side. There is another speakeasy down here as well. I was actually like adding more to my list and I think I'm up to 40 different speakeasies. Some of them are harder to find than others. So it's gonna be fun to do those videos and kind of like give you guys hints, <laughs> but show you what it's like inside mostly. We'll figure out a way to kind of be discreet, but not at the same time. You guys will have to figure out the puzzle. So whenever we do those, it'll be fun. And just the, like the different cocktails they do and stuff too, they're all unique. This is cool, this building's got like, it looks like a temple style bruise on it. Nice Bismarck palm. We always wanted to get one of those palms for our property in Costa Rica. We just kind of ran out of room for one that big. So that's a hotel, Ariston Hotel. Again, lots of hotels in this area on this side of the road. And there's a Hyatt, Hyatt place here. We said it in another video, but if this is the first video you're watching, you are coming for a short stay in Bangkok. You need to be very cautious with Airbnb because a lot of the condo buildings don't allow short-term rentals. You can do monthly. So if you're coming for a week or something, it can be a little bit shady. So suggest booking a hotel instead. Might be a little bit more, sometimes it's not, but you're gonna be guaranteed you actually get to stay. There's been people that have showed up and they haven't been able to stay because it's not allowed to have short term. Another 7-Eleven here. A little construction going on here. <laughs> So yeah, they got some businesses over here. Suit shop, dry cleaning, things like that. Another residence building here called Hopeland. Should we try and find the uh, area that the speakeasy is down here? Maybe I passed it already, I don't know. I know, I'm quite a ways away. It's a long road. So yeah, comment below guys if you are enjoying these types of videos, just kind of showing you different areas to consider staying or living if you are moving to Bangkok. It's something that we did some research on as well. It wasn't as uh, in-depth walking tours of areas as, as what I'm doing. 
So I thought it would be a good idea just to show you guys. Oh, that's a cool looking street down there. Again, uh, more Japanese influence for restaurants and stuff like that. But yeah, I just thought it would just be kind of cool series to do. A little different than our raw walk videos because I'm talking more in these. Sunny Cup. We got some gardeners here. <laughs> but yeah, just more, more talking, more explaining stuff rather than just raw walking, which I still like doing those. But I think in these types of areas, it's good to have some sort of discussion. Yeah, you can see more, more condo buildings here. Mm -hmm. Heading up. Yeah, I find it fun just exploring different areas of the city, just getting to know it little by little and getting the walking in. Such good exercise, it's not hard on the body. Walking is one of the best exercises you can do. Cup, coon, cup. That lady let me go through because I was closer. <laughs> At least I know there's a 7-Eleven closer to where I'm going to be stopping and get a Gatorade or some sort of electrolyte. And something smells good down here. Oh, maybe it's this card up here. <laughs> See what she's got. Yeah, it was either that cart or this cart that smells really good, or both. I could seriously just live off those skiers. <laughs> Keto diet. <laughs> Even though you're supposed to eat them with sticky rice, but I tend to just eat the meat part and leave the carbs alone. Save those for beer. But yeah, it's uh, definitely feeling more residential again here. So if any of you are wondering, I do film this on a DJI gimbal and then a Canon M6 Mark II camera with a microphone. I do have wireless mics, but for these I don't use it. So it's not like just holding a GoPro and walking around, it's actually got some weight to it. So my shoulders get a good workout, but uh, I just find the quality better. And it's, uh, I mean, Canon, Canon video and pictures are, one of the best, if not the best, it's my favorite, over the, uh, using a GoPro. Yeah, GoPro is more convenient and light, and I use it in certain situations, but for the majority of the time, I'm gonna use this. Just has a better picture and better sounds. Yeah, and it's a good workout. <laughs> but uh, yeah, again, it's starting to really feel more residential. Try not to get hit here. There's people selling plants on a cart. Be cool to go out outskirts of Bangkok, kind of explore the actual neighborhoods, just to see what they're like. Looks like they're renovating a building here or just building it. Looks like more of a reno. After having our own property in Costa Rica, 
Man, if you don't stay up with maintenance on anything in a tropical country, the environments will just eat it. Even if you use, like we use contain, shipping containers, and that steel will last 100 years or 25 years back and forth on the sea and getting banged up and stuff. But as a new one, 100 years. Yeah, there's no like rust or anything like that, but like the paint you gotta keep up with. You gotta keep up with like concrete, like everything. So to own one of these buildings and have to keep up with the maintenance would be a nightmare. And that's why you see a lot of them, they just kind of go to go to waste. Oh man, this is a nice looking Starbucks right here. Looks kind of looks like the library in uh, Hastings in Vancouver. Come back here and take a photo when I'm on my way back. It's really nice. Got the phone booth, clock. Very European style. Oh. <laughs> now this area has a really cool feel to it. It reminds me of uh, certain areas in Vancouver and Canada. I like it. Oh, there's a big octopus. So this place looks like it's called the Davis. Yeah, so it must be a hotel, I'm guessing. Really nice. Anything that's got statues of lions out front is gonna be nice. Not just one lion, multiple lions. So again, another uh, hotel over there. A very hotel district down here. Ready, up. See how close we are to where that speakeasy is. Oh, I've actually passed it. We're almost at the end of this road anyway, so we'll go down and then we'll come back up and see if we can find it. I'm not gonna tell you where it is, but I'll tell you if I see it. We cross the road up here too. Or try to. <laughs> so maybe I'll try and cross now. Yeah. So yeah, there's a BMW dealer here. New and used cars. little bigger than the BMW dealership I worked at in Kelowna. <laughs> it's huge, there's like multiple stories. Definitely want to go to some car dealerships and just like see what different cars they have here and stuff. But yeah, let's uh, see if we can find where this speakeasy is. I don't know if this is one that's inside of a building, it might be. Oh no, it is on the other side of the road. Okay, let's cross over then. I thought it was on this side. Try not to get hit by a truck. So there is websites that talk about all the different speakeasies and kind of give you a hint of where they are. You can also find them on Google Maps and people have taken photos of the entrance or like a part of it. But that kind of ruins the fun of it, especially if they're the hard to find ones. Let's see what the name of it is. It's a longer one. So it's called Sugar Ray, You've Just Been Poisoned.
and it looks like it's uh, maybe it's just this building here. No, oh, that's Grisby Wine Bar. Looks like it's somewhere in here. Maybe it's down the back alley. Let's go down there and see. Do a little exploring. Some of them are inside other establishments. Like it could be in the back of this Grisby. That's where you gotta find the hints. Which is probably what the case is with this one, but maybe it's in the back here. You never know. Because there is uh, parking and stuff back here and, and more buildings. Or maybe it's in here. I think it could be, I don't know, that's that same bar. Hmm. It's definitely in, well, it's saying it's in this building, so maybe it's like upper floor in there, and you have to go through that business to get to it. It's closed right now, so it's not like I can go in there and check it out, but that's what it looks like. Because yeah, they'll have like secrets, Secret rooms. Um, there's one that's a. It might even be this. No, it's called the phone booth. There's one that's in a in a bar, and there's a phone or not a phone booth, a photo booth. And you go into that photo booth, and there's a hidden door on the inside of it, and you walk through that to get into the speakeasy. But yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be fun making those videos and checking them out. We'll do a video for each place. It might just be shorter videos. We'll see. We want to show you like what the insides are. Like roll and stuff but yeah I think it's in this building somewhere <laughs> or maybe it's even this building but yeah that's gonna be it for this video of Prom Pong just to show you a couple of the main roads in this area again there's other ones you can walk down there's side roads there's all sorts of stuff just wanted to show you that again we're gonna do some videos on the different malls as well and uh, things like that so uh, if you guys like the video please leave a thumbs up if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come out with new videos and we'll see you in the next one sawadee